Yep. All right. CT, are you ready? You've seen, you've seen how it goes. Are you ready to present? I'm ready, man. Um, <clears throat> if you would allow me, I would like to tell you a little story about Clayton Thomas. This, not even just this game, this entire phenomenon, I am probably the biggest Mighty Morphin Power Ranger fan of all time. I grew up watching the show. I came upon it by accident. I came upon a pilot episode by accident. I came home, I sat down from school, I turned the TV on, and the opening credit sequence to this show was playing. And from that moment on, I never looked away. And um, my mom bought me all the toys. I watched every episode. And when it came time for the game to come out for the movie, um, the first version came out on Super Nintendo, and I didn't have a Super Nintendo. I had a Sega. So my cousin, who had roaches, this will make sense in a second. Uh, <laughs> my cousin, who had roaches, used to get all of the brand new games and get every system. And I <laughs> go to his house to play this version of Power Rangers. And the reason that this is dope is because in this version of Super Nintendo, they could morph in front of you. Like you could choose how they morph compared to Sega where they're already morphed, right? So I would go over his house literally every weekend and we would play this game and he would be Tommy, the Green Ranger, and I would always be the Black Ranger or I would be the Red Ranger. And we never beat the game because this game is actually harder Very, than you think to get hard. to me. Yes. But hard. it's so dope, man. I spent so many hours playing this and so much so that... I endured roaches on a regular basis just to play this game. And How bad was it? Huh? How bad was it though? Oh, you know what? It was it was this kind of bad. Hey. Okay, I'm tripping. Nah. Oh, there it go right there. Is that kind of roach? There you go. Oh, okay. you so it wasn't like an infestation. You were like sitting in a chair of roaches. No, it wasn't. Oh my God. That would be just no. Well, I guess any type of roaches is disgusting. It was one of those. You knew that you didn't want to go to sleep over there, but you had to go to sleep over there. Oh, you slept there? Yeah, it's the weekend. You know, you can't yeah. call your mom and tell her to bring you back each day. So yeah. it was like... Just, these, these, are the type, these are the type of cousins that when you threw that system away, if you cracked it open, there were roach eggs in there. Oh, That's fam. True. Let me tell you something. Every time he got a new system, he'd be like, yo, you want... I'm like, nah, I'm good, fam, because <laughs> I knew what that was about to be. TC, you can't yep. be throwing your, your, your cousin underneath the bus like this, though. Well, here's the thing. I got a lot of good. <laughs> okay. Well, then they never mind. You good. what I'm talking about. You good, then. I was like, TC, how many cousins you got, bro? <laughs> oh, you uh, you got to call that shit out. Because I had some cats in Florida that was like that. And then just to throw that off, I was, you know, I was I was having a fat moment. I saw a, a, a Popeye style wrapped up in, in the Popeye sheet and oh. I hadn't eaten yet. So I was waiting for my mom and them to come pick me up. Please don't finish shit. this story. No, 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 no. So I didn't, this, but this is when I found out like, oh, you have those kind of cousins. Oh. And I was about to eat it and his sister came out and I was like, yo, cause like, I'm still, you know, like I, I grew up with respect. So I was like asking people like, yo, is this, is this for anybody? Like I haven't had anything to eat. And I was just like, yo, is it cool if I have this? They was like, no, nah, I wouldn't I wouldn't eat that if I was you. I was like, why? They was like, cause it's been out for like a day or two. I'm just like, I don't mean shit. Like at this point, I ain't true. She was like, no, nah, baby, like roaches didn't walk over that. You don't know, uh, eat that. I'm like, why y'all still got it out? Yeah, I was about to say, if it's if if it's you know contaminated. Throw it away. <laughs> like it's sitting on the stove. Like, I don't know why they like like black people in the South think the stove is like base in tag. Like, oh, if I put it here, the roach oh, is it, it's home base. So that is, that's facts, bro. That's it facts. is home base. It's home base. It is. Like, that's those, true. believe it or not, every time I went over there, Korea, the one place I never saw, I'm not saying that they weren't behind the stove or underneath the stove, but they were never on the stove, and I never saw them on the the floor of the tub. You saw them on the walls of the tub, but never the yeah. floor of the tub. Yeah. Unless you hit them and they fell in there, then that, that, <laughs> right. it was it was KO because they ain't know what to do when they were in there. They were like, "Shit!" And Spread this me. tree is putting in work, by the way. Yes. Jesus. Yo, is, fun dude, fact: this is a oh. speed run at this point. They never changed the body style between the men and the women, so everybody right. had the exact same body. Hey, I noticed that out. very quickly. I noticed. <laughs> that quickly. I was like, "Trini's looking a little." Uh, <laughs> Look at so, a little uh, stout. 
Yeah. She, she, got, she got Meg's shoulders. Very oh, defined. Ah! Very defined. <laughs> ah, no! Mad Meg! But like China. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> But um, this was not the beat em up in arcades, right? That's a different game. That's no. a different one. That's this different. was in arcades, but this wasn't the beat em up in arcades. Yeah, there, nah. was, there was a few uh, beat em up uh, Power Rangers games, I remember. I played most of them. Uh, I really played the fighting edition. It was one when you actually fight with the uh, the Zords, the Zords, mm. the actual mission. I played that one. I actually beat that one like on stream like a month ago. But that's like a fighter. That's not a game like this. Yeah, right? yeah, it's, it, that's a fighter. But I'm saying they have a whole, they got a few. Uh, Power Ranger games on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, there's a few beat em ups, uh, just yeah. like this on Super Nintendo that went from arcade. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Clayton, I had it on Sega, and I was kind of bummed that it was like, you start off like this, but like yeah. they still kept the loading screen the same. So you're like, oh, okay, we're going to start off with them, and then we're going to power up. No, you're already a Ranger. You already powered up. But <laughs> what I love, though, and I end up doing this on my Twitch page when I first started up like a month ago, I bought the newest version for PlayStation called uh, Mega Battle, right? Where it's okay. exactly like this, but it's for PS4. And it was so dope, man. I play it every oh, night. Oh, yeah. So how is that, CT? It just came out for the PS4, right? Like, it's pretty brand well, new. Well, it right? came out, like, two years ago. Okay. It's only, like, 16 bucks, if that, maybe seven by now. And uh, it's just like this. It's really fun. Like, matter of fact, they're on top of an airplane right now and that's one of the boards <laughs> where you play on top of it. So it's kind of like it was just remade, uh -huh. but uh, just more advanced. It's so yeah. fun. Got you. Got he you. beating this boss's ass. Right. Yeah. That was that was a really. This is really fun to watch. I'm just like having a lot like a lot of fun just watching this game. Mirror it's maniac. Like, oh. But but now I gotta know since we since we brought this up, man. You yeah. know I gotta know what ranger. If you were given the choice, like, hey, man, here's your morpher, what are you going with? And also, you have the option, too, of how you would want to be. Just throwing it out there. Now, if I had the opportunity, and it's so funny you say that, man, because, you know, a lot of us have been afforded the opportunity to meet a lot of the people that we wouldn't have met if we didn't do what we do. And um, my answer has always been to be the Black Ranger. Walter Emmanuel Jones, Black Ranger, especially the episode where he got to wear the Green Ranger shield, mm -hmm. it was like super official to me. Um, I've always chosen to be him because of the power acts and he was just so cool and I could relate to him. And fast forward 20 years, he's like family, great guy. Also from Detroit, by the way. And oh, um, that's my favorite Ranger, dude. It's like, I enjoyed Tommy, but I felt like everybody was just on Tommy and nobody gave Jason the credit he deserved for being the original. And he was also yoked up. It's like, who didn't want to be yoked up and a Power Ranger? But <laughs> Black Ranger. Okay. okay. All right. And the well, same Megazord too? Huh? And Megazord as well? Oh, well, here's the thing. If I got to choose my Megazord, I'm going for not just the original Megazord, but the Thunder Megazord. The Thunder Megazord was so hard. Ooh, what was that? That's the that one, was that's... the one right after the first Megazord. Yep. Where their Zords got destroyed and they got hit by lightning and it like turned them into something darker. It was so dope. That, that was... wasn't the one, the white monster with the long neck, right? No, no, it's not a monster. I think you're talking about uh the white Megazord. Are you talking about when they had the it came out of the water and looked like a Loch Ness monster? Yeah. Oh, that's Dragon Zord. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. It's after Dragon Sword. No, Dragon Sword is the Green Rangers, right? Yeah, but he's the only one that came out the water. No, I'm talking about the white one. The, the white one came from the forest, like uh, the White Tiger Megazord. No, it's not. It wasn't a tiger. It looked like the Loch Ness monster it had no, a. No, I, I know which one he's talking about because it would it would be in the water and it would do this before it came out as well. I know which because it was like a, the neck looked like little almost kind of like balls that built up to his head. Right. Oh, Titanus. No, this was right after Titanus. Okay. Yeah. Excuse me. Touche. Yes. Titanus was different. Right, right, right. So wait, did you watch all of them or were you really just into the Mighty Morphin? I watched Mighty Morphin all the way to space. And then I took a break because I started like aging out. And then I came back at Lightspeed Rescue I watched the crossover for Wild Force, which was Forever Red, the greatest crossover we've ever had for Power Rangers. Hmm. And then 
I didn't watch again until that's it. Dino Thunder, which was uh when Tommy came back to be a Power Ranger again. Yeah, that's Titanus. Okay, so you went you went pretty deep. Uh, yeah, C- CT, what was the one you were you, you said you you would want? As far as my Megazord? Yeah. Thunder. The Thunder Megazord. Thunder Megazord. Got it. Yeah. And I had a whole like plan for like Power Rangers when they came back. Like to have even like the Black Ranger in there. Like I had had like and of course, you know, our go to black guy now, Michael B. Jordan was like, <laughs> His his son, he was like Zach's son. Uh huh. What it became was like they were all yes. Ooh, that was I remember fire. him with the sword. Yeah, I got a surprise for you. Oh Uh-oh. my god, he was hard. Uh-oh. He was hard he body. He was dope. I remember I had this toy. I had a lot of the Megazord toys. The fact that people were dressed up as them in these in these shows to like fight as Megazords, I was just like, I wonder if they still got these suits. And well, no, those were all taken from the the Japanese shows. No, 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 no. These, no. Like to get into these, they started doing these. Like the original, yeah. When they started moving over, like these ones, these were people in them. So wait, okay. which which edition is this from? Uh, CT. Which one? That uh, that Megazord. Thunder. Yeah. Mighty Mighty Morphin. Yeah, but th- why why was it different though? Oh, that's just like. An animated art picture, like somebody. No, no, no he's at. Like he's asking, how did they go from the original to that one? Because yeah. he oh, doesn't okay. know they got destroyed, and then they yeah. had this one. So basically, all of the Power Ranger Zords got destroyed by a uh, Lord Zed in a specific battle, and Zordon tried to bring the Zords back, but they weren't back what they were. They had to get the uh, Thunderized power. So, but I'm getting Thunderized. They showed the destroyed Zords becoming their new selves, and it was like an new- evolution. Yeah. Got it. Okay. And this is when Here's Zed like first got there. This is when like he took over like he wouldn't read oh, us. Damn, man. Oh, I really got That's it. Hard. I knew what it. Is that? That's one. I got several Megazords, but this is a this is the Thunder one, and this is the original Megazord. Oh yeah. shit! Is what what is is that like? Is it like movable? Like what exactly are you holding? Are those like the original action figures? Yeah, these are the Zords, like individually that you combine to make into one Megazord. So oh, I so that's, those are the original. So you you built those. Yeah, yeah. So I oh, got dope. like you buy each Zord and then you just put uh, them together like tra- like a transformer. Right, 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 right. Damn, I wonder if I still have mine. I had to buy these kid. Zords, boy. I was like, man, you know, you buy everything that you didn't get as a kid. Yep. Yeah. Come back and go and get them. I started realizing these are expensive, so I was like, that's why my mama didn't buy. <laughs> yep. How much were they? They, uh, I paid about, I think, $100 for the Thunder Megazord. I ended up getting a deal on the regular Megazord for, like, 70 Oh, wow. But, okay. you know, when you're 10 years old telling your single mother who works two jobs, you want a Megazord. Right, right, right. Right. So what, they were, like, 15 20 each? Because uh, I didn't buy them separate. Like, you literally buy the Megazord. So you are spending oh. no less than 70 80 bucks on a Megazord now. Oh shit! Like a good one, not just the you know the BS. Yeah, right. right. That's fucking lit, man. So that not oh also let me not leave out the reason I enjoyed this game and the entire franchise so much is because when we were growing up, bro, they did these after school special teaching moments that taught you about teamwork and how to be a good sport and never to steal and you know all of these ideas that we feel like are so corny now that actually helped me uh mold my personality and how to just deal with people who are different than me right yeah they had a lot of uh a lot of teachable moments in power rangers like towards the end oh yeah they even had like some ones where they taught you like racism and even like like even bulk and skull like even they showed you like like how you didn't really kind of like you kind of felt bad for bulk and skull because they did they were the poor kids in this town. Like their dad, like their family were poor. Yeah, so that's yeah. why they were like that. But they even showed like, yo, like we don't be trying to take our frustrations out on this stuff. But it's like, yo, like this is the life that we live. Like they be showing that shit. I be like, I forgot how much Power Rangers used to teach us shit. And that was, in the, that was in Mighty Morphin? Yes. Yeah. We just forget that shit because we so used to the Mastodon, Pterodactyl. Yeah, yeah we were doing some shit in that cafe. Mm-hmm. They was telling, it's, uh, so Bulk and Skull were bullies, but they also got bullied by the Power Rangers a lot of times. Like I'm not they gonna did. leave that out. But uh, like Bulk's parents, I mean Skull's parents were rocket scientists. It's just like he chose to be a follower of Bulk. Like all this stuff that was so 
smart back then that they kind of dumbed down as the series went along. I'm like, man, don't get away from what made it dope. And they did. Yeah. Yeah. That almost makes me want to rewatch some of this shit. (laughs) If you go to Netflix, bro, and watch, rewatch season one of Mighty Morphin, I trust me, you will fall in love again. Is that the best season? Oh, Mighty Morphin is the greatest one. Season one, and then it starts getting, it starts getting kind of cartoony around season three. Whenever they brought that old punk ass kid in that became the Blue Ranger, uh, and he after grew the movie? up. Come on, man! I remember that, that movie. After that, that's when that Power Ranger started taking a decline. Yeah. Well. I watched, first of all, shout out to Blake Foster. He's a good friend of mine. Um, I watched a whole little small documentary about it. And the reason that season was one of the lowest rated Power Ranger seasons. And it's because we as kids wanted to be Power Rangers. So when you saw a kid becoming a Power Ranger, every kid hated him because he did what we wanted. That's so exactly what it kind of made everybody stop watching the show. And it's unfortunate it more. because, you know. Oh, we didn't because it was like, then you start having the thoughts of, well, if that's the case, why couldn't I be in it? Why exactly. couldn't it be someone that looked like me to be the Power Ranger? Why he, oh, oh, that's what, you know what? That's what kids learned about white privilege. That's no, what but everything mean. else targeted at kids had a kid doing what you want, like Richie Rich. Yeah. But that's, that. And but, that bow cut. But that wasn't realistic. We knew <laughs> that would happen. We no. was on the, We were all okay with the fact that all right, you got to be a teenager yeah. that's in high school to be one. So I can't be one right now. So that's cool. I ain't tripping. But right. When I get older though, I'm gonna be a Power Ranger. Then you see this kid. Oh, here we come because he white. Gets also, I pass everybody. That's what happened with this. I'm just insert this because we happen to be talking about it. If you remember watching all of that on Nickelodeon. Mm-hmm. The reason it started to decline wasn't because Kenan and Kel and them were phasing out. It was because they had kids being on the show. Like Leon Frierson, I remember I was 10, he was 10. At the end of the episode of like a premiere, they were leaving and a kid was in the audience like, hey, can I be on the show? And they were like, yeah, come on. And me being 10 years old, I was fucking pissed. I know. Y'all were just hate. Y'all were just young haters. That's what it was. Hell y'all were yeah. you didn't get the, the the job and you didn't audition. Hey. <laughs> no, it's because it was like because it was like it 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 felt like a betrayal because it's like yes. oh, was it that easy? Because it did like too for me. I was very guilty because I remember when Nickelodeon was in Orlando, and we went out for vacation, and during the vacation we were going to Universal. And then, but in Nickelodeon, they were holding auditions to be on Guts. And they were taking any kids, like it was a walk-on audition. And I was like, mom, I could be on Guts right now. Like I can climb the You would have been the man. I was like, yo, like mom, let me do it. Like, can I go on there? Mom was not having it. She said, listen here, I brought your ass to Universal. I done came out here. Your dad ain't finna be sitting here in this old punk ass line to come see you climb some old stupid ass, fake ass mountain in the studio to watch some slime and shit come off. I was like, you know what? You remember these times. Will, Mm -hmm. let me tell you something. I'm telling you this right now, okay? You can cash this coupon whenever you want. With all due respect, if you ever want somebody to give your mama some hands, I got you just for that. You understand me? Because you deserve to be on guns. Guts. Now. Bro, guts. I was this, like, this close. I didn't even have to win. I had no intentions on winning. I was just, just like, being on the show would have been enough. Let me just be on here. Because then but they might have been like, the greatest show. It was for kids, it was Kid Gladiators. Yep. Oh, it I was. Oh. Greatest. And I will let y'all know that that is when Pettiness Pharaoh was born. Because I was straight a teenage brat the rest of that trip. <laughs> I can't fuck with my mom. I was like, Mom, so you just go, do you know what this could lead to if I get you on? Right back? there. I'm like, next is Legends of the Hidden Temple. Then, of course, they're going to hear I'm smart and they're going to put me on Double Dare. Oh. Then next is all that. Guest star spots. Then I'm here on Kenan and Kale. Like, Mom, don't stop me on this. She said, if you don't get your fat ass on this ride and watch this Back to the Future shit we just paid for, but nice. I take your ass back to that hotel, you ain't going to do shit. You I had like, a plan. How can they be mad at a plan? Because I understood that my parents are were limited by the times in which they were raised. And they didn't fully understand they were raising a genius at that age. So you know what? Them, it was shut up. 
Patrick Cloud, you you yeah. invited me on your show. I was extremely excited to be on here, and now my day is ruined because our friend was had an opportunity to be on Guts, and now I feel bad. This Jeez. close. This close. That sucks. That's I could have lost weight and been one of y'all sizes. <laughs> Guts would have. I like. Well, I can't keep eating now. I gotta. I gotta do this. I just, I just started tracking every, everything to guts for like a hot three years. Why you ain't doing good in school? Well, there was that time I could have been on guts. <laughs> and my grades would do better. Nope. I don't know. There was that time I could have been on guts. <laughs> oh, you know, that's the greatest story that I did not expect to hear. <laughs> So many, man. I've led a, I led a healthy life before I came out to LA. Oh, oh uh, well, Pat. Uh, first of all, Clayton, that was a great game that defined us. One of the dopest Power, Power Rangers. Games. Yes. yes, just I think that's just a whole game franchise I slept on. Yep. That's something that we could definitely get into. Uh, 